So this is my last chance, apparently. Okay. could do that earlier, otherwise I probably wouldn't have. Um, that's not cool! What? Well, I guess we're gonna find out from Mr. Swamp Lady thing. Oh, sup, fucker. What the- Oh, hello! How you kids doing? What are you doing up here? How did you get here? Escort missions are really goddamn annoying when the person is so slow. Though it kind of feels like I'm kind of on that path no matter what I do, so. It's over. I guess am I going this way? Is it Ida? Hey, it is Eleonora. I was right. You just grab these plants real quick before this next cutscene. Yeah, she wasn't dead. No way. Nice she was a ghost. You, Daniel. But how? I wanted to Ap apologize. For what? what? You, you couldn't have survived such a fall. I was she wasn't so real. Pissed off when I realized who you really are. But even with the whole world turned upside down, you're still here. It made me think, maybe you're not looking for Stella. Maybe you are looking for yourself. I am so confused about what's going on or who she is. Obviously, she doesn't want to talk about her fall. And I have yep. my doubts about what happened after that. It's not natural that I'm alive either. The real reason I was so angry at you is that I lost a child as well. And I felt that, unlike me, you actually had a chance to find yours. Wait, Ella, the newspaper? I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say. What happened? He was still oh, unborn, okay. and I was forced to do it. But I don't want to talk about that anymore. Last time we met, you mentioned a letter. Can you give it to me now? I destroyed it. How could you? It was my last clue to find Stella. I don't think you need any more clues, Dan. You just I could use a lot of clues, actually. Can you give me a clue about what this is, Even please? Now, you're not ready for what was written there. And you? Why are you still here? I don't have any other place to go, Dan. It's because she's dead. I never did. Just like you. Now that the world is destroyed, you sentenced me to stay here with A you. A ghost. But now you have to go. It's time for you to find the truth. Will I ever see you again? Please. <laughs> I'm sure you will. So now I'm questioning if she is a camp counselor or was the same person that he knew at, from the camp because isn't there the story about that ghost from the castle who's a maid that is looking for a husband all the time I'm very confused I don't know we're having revelations apparently in this chapter so apparently all these questions will be answered and more alright I guess I go this way I don't know I'm just guessing hello how are you so, how? Ow, 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 ow. What the fuck was that? I stepped, I stepped, I stepped a little too close to the direction I was shouldn't have been going. Yeah, there's rocks down there. Oh! Nothing happened. I have to recharge it. Okay. Okay, so I don't I can't be in here just yet. Oh, it's because he came from the ceiling? That explains why I died. There's no dirt around here though. That's my only ow that I can think of in here, so That's what killed me, okay. He'll go up eventually, I'm guessing. But I don't think I can open that door from here. Fuck you! All right, um, I'm gonna go see if there's there's another way up by the graveyard that I didn't go. That could be where I have to go next first. Oh, the door's closed, isn't it? 
I can't go this way again. Fine. I have to go. Fuck. Urgh. I hate when I do this shit. I was trying to get that stupid candy. Play stupid games, get stupid prizes. I guess I have to go this way. But there is nothing in that room. There's nothing in there for me to do. Oh, god damn it. Dur -dur -dur. It's just hard to see things, I guess. I just blind. I'm just blind dum dum. There's the heart that I hear. I don't know where it is. Guessing it's over there somewhere. I think I kind of see where I'm going. Okay, now I really can't. There's some tents. Oh, uh, I need that potion. Sweet. There we go. Hey, you're awake. Yeah, I just. Wanted to apologize. Uh huh. For her for what? woman you know, problems. You've always been so nice to me. Or is she getting suicidal here? I don't know. Well, based on the journal entry, it sounded like she was going through like what girls go through, I guess, at a young age. Is it, yeah, I don't know. I'm a boy. I don't know how that goes. I hear a lot of moaning and stuff. Oh, okay. I can go into the tents. What's in the tents? Well, that's not creepy. That's not creepy at all. What's in this tent? Oh! Finally, the key! I've had that key forever! Hey, this time I set a really, really long path of courage for them. Meet me at nine, you know where. Don't let them see you and don't leave me waiting this time I'll keep the fire burning I shouldn't letter to Nina so I wrote that letter okay and there's lipstick okay well I've had that key for a long time and now I know that it was had to do with Nina who was the camp counselor he was sleeping with interesting okay well I guess I go this way too nice don't sweat it. <laughs> no, I mean it. Sounds like she's breaking up so with him. Or she's trying to, you know, figure something out. I don't know. Doing what girls do, kids do. Okay, there's some green steps. Hey, there's my heart. You hadn't found me in that bunker. Who knows where I would be right now? Yeah. Actually, I was really worried. So I'm glad I got there before you vanished. But you need to rest. You still look real so this pale. happened after the yeah. bunker incident? Because I remember... I, like shit. I remember that. I should get some more sleep. So it has something to do with her stomach. Oh, I guess we'll find out now from her journal. So I'm guessing we're still in 2018. And this is probably... So this is all medical stuff at the tent. So this is... Yep. This is 2016. No, this is 2015. What happened here? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I remember this. She was in the bunker and she was... Um, and he found her. So, July 11th, 2015. Shit, I wanted to vanish again, but the pain is back today. It was so bad. I can barely move. It got better in the afternoon, but not by much. I hate my body. Actually, I hate everything. But I managed to do one thing. I apologize to Alexander. He is never mean to me, and he doesn't deserve to feel hated. I promised that tomorrow I'd help him with whatever needs to be done. I only have to be there for... I'll have to be here for, while, for seven more days. Looks like a one. Maybe I can find some way to make it pass more quickly. Whatever happens. Um, I'm never talking to Father again. So, more bad shit. Okay, so there's the heart. Well, let's purify it. So, that kills all that. We're good. Um, 
I think that's all there is to do here. Except maybe this. Yep, there we go. Oh good, we're back in my apartment. Hey! Let's listen. What does Swamp Lady have to tell me now? I'm curious. The animations are kind of overplayed. I will give it that. All right, we're still in this madness. Where have you been? I went for groceries. The fridge is empty and I needed something for breakfast tomorrow. Groceries? It's past 11. There was this idiot who parked so badly. He blocked my car and I was stuck. Uh-huh. Like an hour to find him and then he had to go and find What are you doing? Dan? Oh, they always put the receipt in the bag. I just want to see it. So what? I paid it with my own money. Leave me alone. For it's once. Fair. Please? I'm not looking for the price. Ah, here it is. Let me see. <laughs> what is this shit? An interrogation? Well, you did go shopping, but when you paid the bill, it wasn't even five o'clock. If your bullshit about the car was true, that's still five missing hours. Care to tell me what you were doing all that time? Okay. I met an old friend that I hadn't seen for many years. So we talked for a long time. Listen, I'm sorry, can this just end? I want to take a shower and I'm exhausted. Where did you go with her? That's enough. I can do whatever I want and you have absolutely no right She's to interrogate me. I'll tell you what we wrong. both know. You've been cheating on me again. And you are Again? So stupid that you let the whole world know. And here's a little surprise for you. I know exactly where you've been all this time. Um, Piss off, you fucking creep. You're spying on me? Oh, yeah. No. I'm just concerned for your safety. Or maybe I just like taking precautions to see when you're fucking your friend. I'm keeping track of all the days when you came home suspiciously late. Of course, I could drive to his house and pick you up, but it would be too much of a hassle. You are crazy. Okay. And I want to ask one more thing. Were this you is also getting grocery shopping when Stella. Mori Povich levels. Oh, fuck. Okay. What a great detective you are. Is he, though? Such clever methods. I got it. No, he's not. You sure are. How dare you? She was cheating on me. I'm was not she though? I'm sure I believed Stella was my daughter after I found out how often Ida was screwing around behind my back. I mean, truly, uh, you are the last honorable man on earth. Okay. Oh, Nina, that was her name. Right? right? Yeah, you were kind of doing the same thing, weren't you? <laughs> I believe she was more than an instructor to you. Yeah, anyway. I figured that one part out too. <laughs> I think it's time for you to return. Stella is still waiting to be found. I mean, I I I I I get where he's coming from. Like that, I mean, it sucks when you kind of figure that shit out. Like, I've been there, but it still doesn't give like. It's hard being an adult, I guess, when you're that hurt because it is a hurtful thing to be going through. But it sounds like he kind of brought it upon himself because he wasn't exactly the greatest husband ever and usually when you're that much of a dick you know that's it's kind of your fault that uh it's kind of your fault at that point that she made she made it. like i don't know i guess it also i mean it depends on circumstances it's been it's it's still fucked up she shouldn't have if, if it's true i don't know i don't know what to believe from daniel anymore because you know he's kind of fucked up <laughs> Uh, how do I get... Okay, so... Oh, this way. Because it sounds like there's a lot of stuff that Daniel has been, you know, forgetting so that he didn't have to deal with it. But, um... It's hard to say if his suspicions were true or not, or... Because it doesn't... There's no hard evidence right now, so, I mean... But if that was... I don't know. I just know that he's not the nicest of people. And the way he treats his daughter and probably treated his ex his ex wife probably did not help any of his relationships. And he was screwing around with this girl named Mina. And it sounds like he was still married when that happened. So
I don't know what that did. But it's something, and I can't get up there any other way, so. I just knew that was where I had to go. But yeah, cheating is bad. Don't do it. Oh, there we go. It went through the door to get me through here, and then... I guess I can climb down. Whoa, hello. That's a lot of lag. So yeah, just, just don't do that. It's just not, it's not fair to anybody. Oh, God! They're back. Whoa! Um. I'm in the valley. What the fuck? Uh, as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. There was a heart somewhere. I just don't know where it went. Behind every door. Behind there every door. To tell. There are stories to tell. Some of them happy. Some of some them happy. Some in less so. In every heart. Lost. There's a it's story hidden as well. To the outside world. It's hidden to the outside world. It's hidden to the outside world. It's hidden to the outside world. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. This is creepy. Um, yeah, cool. Great, great poem, guys. Real cool poem. I don't know what I just did, but... I did something. And, I mean, there's a thing there, and I kind of want to get to it, but... Ow, 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 ow! It's really hard to see. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. I just know that I'm running around in darkness and shit and uh, this way? No? There's a burning cross thing making it hard to see. I hear the heart. I'm guessing it's up there. Okay. Oh god, that's where one of them spawns, isn't it? Fuck. Doesn't work in the water. Good to know. Um, well then how... How do I get up there? Just run. Just run. Run away. Oh, this is a fucking dead end. Great. Well, shit. Just, I'm just gonna run. Fuck you. Hide. Hiding. Don't come this way. Don't you come this way. Don't you come this way. Don't you do it. No. uh I'm not here. I'm not real. You're all just a figment of my imagination. Good. Okay, where the fuck am I going? Oh, duh. I walked right past it. Yay. Dude, your knuckles are so bloody. You just be getting the shit kicked out of you all freaking month, haven't you? Yeah, there's a way to get over there, but I guess I'll have to do it later. Okay. We've gotten further. Oh, before I forget, we're going to make another one of these. All right, what does Swamp Lady have to tell me now? Come on, just let's move along. We, we know, it hurts. It hurts a lot. Okay, so suspicious of my wife cheating on me while I was cheating on my wife. Treating my daughter like shit, didn't want anything to do with them. So what's going on, huh? Let me die in peace and go away! 
What's wrong with you? Are you sick? I... You wouldn't give a shit anyway. Last month you were obviously well enough to run away. Do you know how much time it takes to find you every time you decide to pack your shit and take off? So I'm gonna say, right here, right now, what I think... Oh, don't do this. You're a spoiled brat who can't handle oh, any responsibility. You are, uh... Whenever you don't want to do something, you suddenly turn into a crybaby and fall mysteriously ill. In other oh, words, no. you're total bullshit. You're projecting your fucking hatred towards your wife on your daughter. How fucked up is that? Did Stella ever tell you why she wasn't at camp last year? Even though Alexander was there? No. I, I thought she didn't want... She was in a hospital. I don't believe she was there because of fake pain. No. That's crap. No. It just shows how little you really care. Your daughter was in from yourself the plain duty to track down her cell and bring her back home. But how could I know? She lives with Ida. If they won't tell me You're lying, Daniel. Last July you never bothered to call her. Oh my god. Even once. Otherwise you would have known where she was. She wouldn't accept a call from me. <laughs> and you should ask yourself, why was that? Oh wonderful question. If you're having uh if you're having problems with uh, with people um, and you want to solve it, but they don't want to talk to you, you should probably figure out why that is before you just assume it's th that it's their fault. It's called taking responsibility. Well, I just got teleported someplace else. New decrypted page it's from 2018. July 9th. Best thing about being 17, nobody is bossing me around anymore. So what's the worst thing? Living with my fucking broken body. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, if I wasn't so damn ill, I would have a better life. I remember how long I hoped my parents would divorce. Well, that's fucked up. I should have been careful that I wished for what I wished for instead of peace. I got a new stepdad. I've got... To be seriously careful never to be alone with him when anyone's around he plays the smooth well-behaved gentleman when i am alone at home he just tries to fuck me i had a feeling that was the case mom has to know he how he is but she does nothing i hate my father but he never tried anything like that and now it looks like it might be safer to live with him i haven't told him anything yet there's a, there is another way Oh, I've seen that picture before. Okay, so I was right. God, creepy fucking guy. <sighs> I spent the whole day lying in bed for once. Father was actually nice to me. I know that he hasn't doesn't care, but still it was almost pleasant. Somehow I am getting tired of this endless pain, but I need to stay strong for him. Okay, so now, okay, so it's piecing together. It wasn't, it was problems at home, so she had to move in with Daniel, or dad, and he, but he, she always felt that he didn't care about her, and I'm guessing the stomach pains were, really? I don't know. It's not the first kind of situation I've heard of like that in fiction. It's not a pleasant experience, no matter if it's fiction or not. <clears throat> oh man, this this story's getting a little messed up in ways that are not just horror. Okay. I'm just seeing what's over here. Okay, so I saw that I saw that candy wrapper. I'm definitely gonna go deal with it. Where's the heart? Well, there's the way I'm probably supposed to go. Oh, it's over there, probably. Okay, let me go grab this candy wrapper real quick and then take a look and see what's over there. Oh. I have really shitty reaction times. Because I can't go this way. It's too blocked off. Okay, maybe I can't go that way. I just have to get beat up a little bit. Oh, candy wrapper. I have a feeling that I'm going the wrong way. Oh, I'm at the castle. Okay. Alright. Ah! We lived. 
Where's the heart then? I hear it. I just don't know where it is. No, I got flipped around. Oh, true sight. Okay, let's do some true sight then. All right, let's do this. So, what have you been doing lately? I was waiting for you to answer your phone. I was busy, okay? I wonder what was keeping you so busy that you couldn't even call once in two months. You know what? Let's walk a bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, something tells me that uh, he's no longer infatuated with you because of reasons. Okay, just go this way. I don't see... Oh, there's the more footsteps. This way? Oh, goody. Ow, ow, ow. There's something I have to tell you. Oh, come on. Don't be such a drama queen. Just say it. I... Guess what? Let's walk some more. Just... If, if you're ever in a position, like, I understand it's hard to get some courage sometimes to say stuff, but you're probably better off just saying it. I'm guessing that I will get to the last bit of this little conversation up here. Ah, damn. It's locked. We can climb up like we did last time. Alex, I can't climb. I'm feeling a little sick today. Today this, yesterday that. It's always something with you. And I'm totally tired of your endless excuses. I... I'm not interested in your bullshit. Either we go up there or I'm out of here. Shut What up. a dick. I've got something to tell you. There's a good reason why I've been trying so hard to get a hold of you for the last two months. I have a feeling it has something to do with your stepdad. Okay. Um, well, where do they go from here? Back down? Uh, his shoes are easier to follow. Back down. I asked to... Okay. Why didn't you tell me before? You think I haven't tried? You kept ignoring <clears throat> all my calls and messages. You actually knew what happened, right? I'm leaving. Forget that you ever knew me. You fucking bastard! I hate you so much! <laughs> Sounds like a fucking CW show. Um, apparently I figured out another piece of the puzzle. Oh, two whole pages. And I'm guessing this has to do... with, uh, what's... <gasps> it's that flower! So yeah, I'm, I don't know, I'm missing a page. Should I... I convinced Alex to take a walk with me. We reached the castle, but it was locked. Alex just we climbed up. I told him I wasn't feeling well. When he asked me what was wrong, I just stood there. I couldn't find the words to tell him the truth. Not yet. He got upset and said it was, I wasn't the Stella he knew. And if I didn't trust him, he didn't want to be around me anymore. It was such a shock. But at first, I still couldn't say anything. And then I made the worst mistake ever. I told him everything. So she was raped? So not only do I have to deal with, like, psychological messed up black ink horror crap that looks like crabs and swamp people, but now I have criminal minds level messed up actual, you know, SVU crap that I am slowly uncovering and it's making me very uncomfortable. It doesn't help that this room is also like a 90 degrees right now. Because I have no air conditioning. And I can't turn a fan on because it's too goddamn loud. <laughs> Alex left today. He told me he is never coming back. And to forget I ever knew him. Men are fucking assholes. Not all of us, but most of us, yeah. No exceptions. So I'm always in one hell or another. Okay, so um, I can see why your daughter and you had some problems. And I could see why your daughter was acting out and was running away all the time. And I can also see why your wife liked you. I still have no evidence to prove that she had been cheating on you the whole time you guys were together. Even though that's what you said was happening in that one moment. Alright. Don't kill me. Thank you. Alright. I need to find this heart so I can deal with this. Because this is frustrating me. Okay. So I can't go that way. Is it, is it right there? 
Okay, I can't go that way. I can't go that way. It's not behind this tent. I mean, if it is... Oh, it's right here. Fuck, God damn it. I would have had to take less damage and dealt with more... Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We're good. We figured it out. It only took me a minute. I have a pure soul. No, I don't. I'm guessing that's the last heart. I mean, I got the achievement called pure soul, so I'm assuming it's the last heart. Which kills all these things. I went the purification route. Give me that. I don't, I think I missed most of them or some of them. All right, and I'm guessing that I have to raise the roof. Yes, I do. Don't, don't, don't walk so slow. Okay, good, we made it. So I have to go this way now. So what it sounds like happened is uh, when your daughter got to 17 or almost an adult. <laughs> Uh, mommy's new boyfriend or husband was a scumbag and she needed help, but she, you were such a dick to her as a child. She didn't know how to talk to you about it. And then she went to her camp boyfriend, dude, and he didn't like the idea that terrible things happened. And I'm pretty sure the only reason why he would act that way is one, he's probably about her age and kids don't really know how to deal with that kind of stuff. Um, it's kind of heavy. And, uh, on top of that, he probably didn't like the fact that, you know, it happened. I, I just, I don't know. I'm trying to explain this out of my head right now. I don't know why I walk around, but I'll do a sum up of what I, of I, what was revealed to me in, uh, this chapter called Revelation. Okay. Um, I think, yep, it's black, which means there's flies, which means, <gasps> Is that a number three carved into the back of his hand? Okay, that should help. I don't know what that did, but it probably helped with something. Oh. Well, I'm gonna look around a little bit. Okay, those are, those are not dead. I thought they were. I mean, that's obviously the way I have to go. And that obviously raised the bridge for me to get up there. So, if I could just not fall off the, you know, makeshift wooden planks that are been pulled up by tentacles from hell, then uh, I would be up here. Cool. Oh, good. We're back at the bunker. My favorite place to be. My home away from home. Yep, we're back here. Except that's a door to my apartment. At least I think it's the door to my apartment. I saw something similar to that earlier. That's a oven. Slash stove. Yeah, this is starting to look like my home away from home. Is that the cutting board? It's something. What's over here? I know I'm probably supposed to go down that ladder, but... I don't know. <clears throat> I'm gonna explore this way. And if this is the way I'm supposed to go, this is the way I'm supposed to go. But I figured a little exploring that was in order. I don't see anything over there. Um, this is a dead end with nothing in it. I hear a fire. Oh, we're in the furnace room again. Okay, so there's gas pipes. Here's the gas pipes. So let's turn both of these off. So that's the green pipe. And this is the red pipe. I don't know where the green pipe goes. It goes this way. Probably, okay. There's another creepy ass doll. Hello, how are you? Just hanging in there? Cool.
Ow, 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 ow. Fuck. Oh, I'll probably need that. I have no idea how I'm getting lucky, but... There's just some bolts and stuff that are probably useful. Ow, ow. I don't know what that did, but I'm guessing I did it in the wrong order. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Okay, almost dead, almost dead. Woo. Whoa, that got close. Okay. Hey, another piece of the story. Night came and the devil approached the beast with a sinister smile. Oh, you poor thing, laughed the devil. That curse made all women look like dolls to you. You will never know which one is the woman you seek. Okay, that makes sense of the dolls now. Then I'll kill them all, and I won't stop until my promise to you is fulfilled, said the beast. I told you that I am a, I told you that I am a fair trader, said replied the devil. Your princess is even now on her way here. It shouldn't be too hard to catch her by surprise, would it? We'll reunite and see the darkness. All right, cool. Well, obviously I'm supposed to go that way. Oh no. There's no way I'm going through these things. Okay, so do I turn the green pipe on then? So the green's working now. Okay, so then I do I do this? That's right. Burn! 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 Alright, I should probably turn the gas off now. How do you deal with how do you deal with spiders? You burn it with fire. The, the answer is always burn them with fire. It's always the most fun. Okay, now I'm guessing I can go that way. Yes, I can. Well, then... Where's the dirt? Is this dirt? Yes, yes it is. I have no idea what that did, but sure. I'm guessing it was kind of important. It was kind of important. All right. Okay, Swamp Lady. What fun memory are you going to give me now? Hmm, this hellscape never gets old. I like what you did with the place, though. The fire yeah, really brings really out the light everything. Your voice more if you want to sing. Staying in tune and keeping in rhythm, that's something anyone can do, so... Uh, no, it's not. You Have you seen American Idol? Like oh, that's the harmonica chick. I remember now. Well, that's a pointless memory. I was expecting something more epiphany-driven. No, no, I was just trying to, you know, give his daughter shit. Hey, a guitar! I can play the guitar again. I have new songs. I found at least two. Oh, this one's a new one. Very Eastern European. Classical Eastern European. At least that's what it sounds like to me. My Russian accent, not very good. I'm sorry, comrades. This is a long song. Ah, but I got to rehydrate. I got to stretch a little bit. Cool. Just a random guitar in the pits of hell. Seems cool. 
which is why that okay cool well I'm guessing I needed to go this way to get flies to do something and that's all that's over here and that way is to turn the gas or get the gas parts so then where do I go from here this way I mean I'm in the bunker so I had to go this way anyways so I'm guessing I had to go this way in order to go the other way which I skipped and I'm kind of glad I did okay so I get to climb ladders down even further into the deep dark disc that is hell Okay, this is cool. Um, by that I mean I have no idea what the hell is going on. Okay, sounds like uh, is that a wardrobe? Okay. Uh, where do I go? I hear. The sound of something that's possibly supposed to move. So let's just do this out of sheer freaking hope and prayers. Well, that's not dirt then, so never mind. All right, figured it out. What? What do you mean that's not rock or that's not dirt? That looks like dirt. It looks like mud. It's like a rock slide. There we go. Mmm, shit slides. I guarantee they're gonna be the, the, the greatest family attraction in all the world in the next couple years. I guarantee it. <clears throat> More bedtime stories. What should I do? Asked the princess desperately. Take this magical charm, answered the strange man. Your father wears an amulet. If you want to leave this place, you have to insert this charm into the amulet which he is wearing. Only then will you be free of this curse. Thank you, said the princess. But the man had vanished into thin air. Yeah, because he's the devil. Autumn leaves, rocks and trees all fall down. How, uh, black plague of you. All right. Um, I guess I climb down from here now. Yep, yep, cool. I'm sure the story... I, If you guys have able to keep up with the bedtime story stuff, you can kind of... If you want to help out me and everyone else, just in the comments below, just kind of explain uh, what it has to do with what's going on, your ideas and opinions. Mine is, is that Daniel's the king and still is the princess. That's my thought. And the king becomes the beast, so Daniel is the beast, which is the darker... Oh, I'm at the furnace again. Which is the darker side of him, I guess? I don't know. That's just my opinion on it. But if I'm wrong, let me know. Or if you have a better, more deep insight, deeper insight into it, also let me know down below. Oh, look, another fucking part of the story. And another one. <laughs> the beast rushed into the castle and found his daughter sneaking around. So yes, the beast is the king. Got it. He called upon his amulet and suddenly the ground started to shake and strange snakes made out of steel started to crawl out of the wall, castle walls. It's called rebar. So cool. The princess cried for help, but there was nobody to help her. It looked like everything was lost for the poor princess as the beast drew nearer, and she had nowhere to be to run. But then suddenly, out of the blue, I'm guessing that's when the devil showed up, unveil its rotten gown. Okay. Um, well, where do I go from here? This door is closed, and there's no door handle. Oh, I have to climb down. Got it. Well, I'm glad I went that way. And then we go. Could, um, well, what are my options here? I'm in water or oil or something. There's nothing back there. Okay, I guess we're going this way. Hey, we're at Swamp Lady's house. Broken door, crying girl. Crying girl at balcony. Okay, I've seen that photo before. This person isolated. Girl isolated from strange black things. Spider, spider dude, haunting girl. Shoes and girl crying on the fetal position on the floor. Got it. Hey, sunlight. Oh, we found more stuff. Okay, so this is also from 2018 or 2015. I think this is 2015. 
No, this is 2018. Yeah, this is 2018. No, 2015? Fuck. I forgot where I was. Okay, so there's this one, right? Yes. Alex arrived today. My heart was beating so hard. I tried to play I tried to play it cool and actually avoided any contact with him. Maybe it was the most idiotic thing to do, but somehow I couldn't bring myself to do anything else. And maybe tomorrow when we walk, we talk, I'll finally get the courage to tell him everything. I have a feeling that I will never tell Alex what is going on with me, with us. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. And that cursed Sroder, what the hell ever thing doesn't help. I don't know what that is. Um, he must never see me like this. He's actually avoiding me right now, which makes everything worse. But maybe there is still hope. All we need is a safe place to stay in. Stay. In my head, I've played through every combination of what might happen if I tell him. So I will gather my courage tomorrow to talk to him. So this is... Okay, so this is the last time she was at camp. She's anxious. She doesn't like being in camp. And then sucks about being 17. Her stepdad's basically trying to sleep with her. Probably forcefully at some point. Because it sounds like there's something else that happened that she's not talking about yet. She's very ill. She's... I'm guessing it sounds like a pregnancy. Um, these are all just me extrapolating things from these revelations. Um, and then this is her getting up the courage or feeling sick all day. Want to talk to her dad about living with her because she doesn't feel safe at home because of their stepdad waiting for Alex to come home. And then this is her telling Alex and Alex saying, telling her to fuck off essentially. Cause you know, he's a teenage boy who doesn't know how to deal with uh, deep, dark problems like that, which I mean, I, we were all kids once. It, it, it's, it's heavy shit to deal with. Like I'm not going to, I'm not holding it against Alex, but I don't know if I was Daniel and I found out I'd, if, if my assumptions are true, I'd kill, the, I'd kill that guy. Yeah, this makes me uncomfortable. At least it's bright out. I can see. Oh, great. Well, there's always light at the end of the tunnel, right? Right before you die. July 19th. I almost couldn't bring myself to do it, but if I don't, I'll end up back with mother and that asshole after the last incident. So she was raped. I know where it will end. He threatened to throw me out on the street unless I was a good girl and acted nice to him. No one will ever believe me. And where, and where can I go? Oh, this is so sad. I'm sick, have no money, and no friends. The only chance I have is to, is to ask father if I can live with him. This is really sad. This is not under scary, this is just sad. At this point, we just need a safe place to stay. We? I will promise him anything that I won't run away. Ever, ever again, be a problem or make any trouble. I have to make him believe me. I guess this is for uh, this is the final part of, of the final path of courage for me. July twentieth, dear diary, this is my last entry ever. We won't need it anymore. Not where I'm going. Yours truly, Stella. Oh no.
Holy shit. 